In this video, we are going to discuss cross correlation function for power or periodic signal. So, for example, to define the equations to calculate cross correlation of power signals, I am going to consider two different signals to calculate cross correlation. If two signals x1 of t and x2 of t have the same time period t, then the cross correlation function can be defined as r1 to or r2 1. If you are correlating first signal with second signal, then that is considered as R12. And if you are considering or correlating second signal with first signal, then that is considered as R21. So, here you can see the equations R12 of tau is equal to these equations are similar for cross correlation of energy signals or fundamental cross correlation equations, except here we are having limit t tending to infinity 1 by t. So, general equations the uh, nothing but energy signal equations we are having minus infinity to infinity x1 of t into x2 of t like this. So, for power signals when you are calculating for power signals not only this uh, uh, cross correlation function either that is auto correlation function or power or anything you need to consider limit t tending to infinity 1 by t integral minus t by 2 to t by 2 that infinity limits as we already considered limit t tending to infinity I am considering like minus t by 2 to t by 2 x1 of t x2 star of t minus tau dt. We can form another equation by shifting this shift to here that means we can write x1 of t minus tau x2 star of tau d tau also x2 star of t d tau also. For example, you can consider uh, negative shift also that means t plus tau also you can consider. You can uh, change the shift either here or here. So, now coming to correlation cross correlation of power signals that means second signal with first signal that can be defined as limit t tending to infinity 1 by t integral minus t by 2 to t by 2 x2 of t x1 star of t minus tau dt. So, when you are saying second function with first function for that first function we need to consider complex conjugate. Here you are uh, with function is second function first with second that means so here you are having two. So, for second function you need to consider complex conjugate. Like this way you can uh, calculate cross correlation function of power signals by using this formula. So, here you can uh, change this shift as negative shift also that means you can consider t plus tau also. So, you can change the shift to here and here you can uh, make change the shift from here to here that means you can write like this x2 of t plus tau x1 star of t dt also. So, now coming to properties here itself I want to discuss some properties, properties of cross correlation function of power signal. So, we will follow the same properties which we followed for energy signal, cross correlation function of energy signal. There I discussed, so cross correlation function is, cross correlation function of energy signal is um, symmetric property it follows it uh, obeys symmetry property conjugate symmetry property that is nothing but r12 of tau is equal to r21 star of minus tau this is your first property unlike convolution r12 of tau is not is equal to r21 of minus tau so uh, in convolution if you convoluted first signal with second signal or second with first signal those two will be equal. But here if you correlated first with second or second with first that won't be equal. This property you can apply for cross correlation of energy also. So here the first property is it obeys conjugate symmetry that means R12 of tau is equal to R21 star of minus tau. So here unlike convolution it is not commutative that is R12 of tau is not is equal to R21 of minus tau. Now, coming to third property the cross correlation function at origin is equal to 0 if the cross correlation function at origin is equal to 0 then the signals are said to be then signals are said to be R2, orthogonal or perpendicular to each other. If autocorrelation function at origin is equal to 0, then the signals are said to be 
orthogonal. So, for this we are having a proof that we already done in properties of auto uh, cross correlation function of energy signal in the last classes we calculated we proved that also. Finally, we are having another, another uh, relation that is so here if you consider Fourier transform of your cross correlation function if you consider Fourier transform of cross correlation function so that is equal to x1 of omega into x2 star of omega so x2 star of omega so like this you can consider that means if you consider Fourier transform of your cross correlation function of power signal that is always is equal to individual transforms multiplication if that signals are complex you need to consider complex conjugate of second function multiplication of transform of first function with complex conjugate of transform of second function will be is equal to Fourier transform of cross correlation function of power signal. So, all these are properties and cross correlation function for power signal. This is about cross correlation function of power signal and its properties.